Hey, how's it going everybody? Lethal One here and welcome to episode 20. Yay, we made it to 20 again. Welcome to 20 of my Dark Souls walkthrough. Last we left off, I was having a hard time uh, traversing this whole castle area. But I opened a shortcut last video and we're going to get to a boss fight in this video. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to try to take him out in one, one shot. There's a couple items down here that I need to get. And it's going to be really hard now, thanks to that freaking guy buffing the knights. Okay, this guy is double buffed. Uh-oh. Look how much damage that one attack did. Alright, I'm feeling that I can finish him. Oh, he's... Okay, good. His buff wore off. <gasps> what the heck? I just... Oh, my goodness. I can't believe he just did that. And then the guy healed him. What a way to start off an episode. Alright guys, I got my body. That was one hell of a way to start an episode. You know what? I'm going straight for this guy right here. He's not going to sit here and keep buffing people. So annoying. He still got a buff off. And that knight right there just chasing me. He's the worst one. He's the one that's corrupted by the abyss. But luckily for me, oh, okay. Luckily for me though, I killed the guy so he can't get his health re refilled. It's just surviving his attacks that's gonna be hard. I think he got, you know what? I'm wrong, I think he has an Estus Flask. So I still gotta be careful. All right, good. Another guy that can buff. You gotta die, buddy. All right, I thought it was some items. Okay, there's one. That wasn't really worth it. I think there's another item on the other side. So let me go ahead and take my time and dispose of this knight. No, you know what? I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? Eh, I didn't think so. So let's just keep it moving. It's like he's guarding nothing. So we'll just leave him to it. You know, why does this look? Never mind. I thought I discovered something that nobody else discovered. It just looked like that wood right there could be broken. Playing too much Dark Souls 1, I guess. All right, so here we are. There's a couple of items I'm going to grab first. Including this guy. So I can actually get some help. Nice. Okay. I'm feeling really confident now. Every time I say that, something bad happens. Are you a mimic? You're not a mimic. Alright, so there's a ring over here. And then once I get this ring... It's time to fight the guy that I thought was um, Oristine from Dark Souls 1 because he kind of looks like him and he has the electricity and stuff. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I'm being body blocked. Get out of the way. Too bad there's no push button. Like Dead Rising. <laughs> You could just muff somebody out of the way. There's something important down here. I'm just going to do this and do this. All right, you know what? It's important for me to grab a couple more things before I fight the boss. I know I keep saying that, but I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy down here. This is an easy way to die, by the way. Okay. Hmm. 
Nothing a little fire can't cure. I can't see what's going on, but I think I'm winning. Whoa, I've never seen a camera get this bad before. Okay, so, so much for me having help. <laughs> I should have just did what I was going to do, and that was fight the boss. Now my chances of beating him on the first try has kind of went down some. Interesting. I get so tired of these mimics. Why do they put so many mimics in this game? Dark Souls 1, it was like three at the most. I can't remember how many was in part two, cause like, who gives a damn about part two? All right, so I have a pretty decent sword there. That was pretty worth it. Anything up here before I jump down? Nope, that's it. All right, so here we go. On to the boss. Maybe I can go back to the summon sign and see if he can be resummoned. I doubt it. I might have to go to the bonfire to reactivate that summon sign. I just realized I got a shitload of souls on me. I would hate to lose them. Oh, this way. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do this on my own. I can do it. I... I I know I can do it. I hope I could. Oh, gosh. And I just wasted that. Hmm. All right. So wish me luck. This is so no if he would have hit me with that okay listen here you overgrown ninja turtle <laughs> Starting to scare me, sir. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I feel like my heart is trying to leave my chest. And I'm just kind of like trying to keep like squeeze it back in. Uh, I forgot about the uh, I think those are like moonlight butterflies. They start shooting that red mist at you at the end and it kind of makes it really hard to dodge the attacks. OK, guys, this is going to be a short video. I have the shield and I'm here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it right here and I'm going to warp back to what is it called? Dragon Kin? And I'm going to go over that way and I'm going to go ahead and fight the hardest boss in the game. I have a better chance with this shield. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.